Good morning, everybody. It's Jeff Trudell with Premier Mortgage Lending. Today here in studio, we have Kendall Reyes from Keller Williams, uh, formerly from the NFL. So Kendall, welcome to the studios. Thanks for having me. Uh, no, I'm definitely excited. Uh, you guys are the best over here. I mean, we're doing a podcast. Uh, <laughs> like, this is absolutely incredible. So Yeah, we've been waiting to get you on here for a long time. I know, so I know, I know. Appreciate you coming in and hey. uh, getting back into the business here, full swing. And yeah, absolutely. You know, timing is everything. And, uh, you know, right, right, now is, right now is the right time. Oh, this is awesome. So, um, yeah, you, you were in it a little bit. You came back uh, full swing here recently. So uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, Maybe where you came from, you yeah, know, all yeah, the way up until now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, born and raised in Nashville, New Hampshire. Uh, played football growing up. Was able to, you know, fortunately go to college. Uh, met my wife there. Um, you know, then I was. We were able to live. You know, then had a great, awesome experience. You know, playing. Uh, you know, in the NFL. Um, unfortunately, you know, ended short due to injury. Um, and, you know, throughout that whole process, um, you know, it, it took some time. You don't, you don't just get hurt one day and retire. Right. Um, you know, right. it, it takes a process. Uh, so it was the thing that was cool about that. We, me and my wife, we always knew what we wanted to get into. We loved real estate. Um, we loved invest. I mean, every aspect of it. Um, you know, HGTV is huge. Right. Um, yeah. So, you know, all these flip and flops, all, you know, anything about it. Like, you know, we, we always loved. So. Actually, when I was in Kansas City and we got hurt, um, I didn't know what was going to happen next. I was, I was thinking, um, you know, I get a quick surgery, I'll be back, free agency, you know, five six weeks. Uh, wasn't the case. I ended up having some complications. I had to get three surgeries on my wrist. Um, so during that time, I was home. So I got a surgery in February after the season, April, then August thirty first. You know, so the twenty seventeen season was was done. That was it, right? Yeah, it was done. <laughs> so we're like, so we just had bought a house back home and we're like, okay, I'm home, 100% home. That last surgery pretty much did it because right. I was, you know, about to do a couple workouts for, for, for some teams. And, uh, you know, I was like, I'm just not ready, just not ready yet. Then, you know, while I was getting ready, I had a, you know, complication, I had to start all over, um, you know, get the surgery done on my wrist. So we were like, you know, we love real estate. Let's let's get our licenses. Um, so that's what we did. We studied all 2017, 2018. Um, you know, we joined Keller Williams. You know, you know, during during the early early on, you know, we were still having kids. Right. Uh, you know, we were getting yeah. settled. So uh, we we did it. You know, for the love of it. You know, we enjoyed it. Um, but uh, as of recently, these last couple of years, kids are in school now. Right. That helps. Uh, we're now able to go all in, full blast. Um, you know, really stepped up. You know, our social media presence. Kristen's an absolute beast when it comes to that. She is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she has like a huge, <laughs> like almost cult following. Uh, we were talking about the other day. Uh, I was like, when I when I post something, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, like five or six people have messaged me, and I'm like, how many people message you? Like, and she's like. Honestly, like a hundred. I'm like, wh- like a hundred. <laughs> so we got the internal competition going. Yeah, I was home. like, I, I was like, I gotta step my game up. But uh, no, that's all her. I mean, she, she does all of our posts, even my posts, like on my personal social media. I'm like, I understand. Kristen, I'm familiar can you, with that? <laughs> can, you, can you do this for me? But uh, no, she's an absolute beast. Uh, she went crazy this year. Um, so now we're like in a position to where it's okay. This is the time. Like everything lined up correctly. We're ready to go. She had an awesome year. We collectively had a had, had a solid year as well. Um, you know, repeat clients, referrals. A lot, honestly, a lot of referrals from other agents, which is right. which is incredible too. So, yeah, that um, speaks to obviously what a great job you guys do. You yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so you know, it, it takes time, but you know, we it's, we built it, and we're like, let's keep going. Like we we we're gonna make this thing so much bigger. So. Uh, you know, definitely exciting times for, uh, you know, the Reyes home team and, you know, for Kristen and I. So, no, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so you had um, you had talked a little bit about, you know, sort of getting back into real estate. Yeah. Right? So um, now that you're here and uh, what do you want your you know prospective clients, whether they're buyers or, uh, you know, potential listings and things like that? What 
what kind of things do you want to put out there and let everybody know that you guys really do well? How do you treat your clients? Um, yeah, I mean, really for us, it's we always put ourselves in our clients' shoes. I mean, we've been there. Um, you know, we've bought and sold and, um, you know, with family and all that. And, you know, when you're talking about real estate, you know, it's one of the top three decisions in, in most people's lives talking about getting married, Absolutely, having kids, right. college. And then the next thing is, you know, really a house. So we, we, uh, we understand the gravity of it. And, you know, we want um, everyone that we work with to, to know that we're, we're all in. We're here for you. There's no silly question. We're going to make sure this process goes as smooth as possible. And, um, you know, that's really, you know, you know, what sets us apart. And um, a lot of that is protecting our clients. We're, we're huge on protecting our clients. Um, you know, that's kind of what we always have because, you know, in the back of our mind is we protect our clients. They're going to be happy um, with the decision that they make, um, whether it's buying or selling. We always have those couple things in mind uh, to protect them. Um, you know, and, you know, show them the opportunities that they have and whether that's relying on, you know, you know, other resources or allies in the industry from lenders and, you know, ex experience, you know, um, different, all types of different transactions. I mean, we've seen right. some wild stuff. Oh, yeah. And you're just getting going. Really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've seen some wild stuff. So sure. it's like, hey, I know this is what you're thinking, but, you know, this is, you know, th these are some things we've seen. I just wanted to put that out there and really... Um, you know, all those experiences, you know, where we're at. I mean, we're going into year five, uh, you know, in, in the That's industry. That's unbelievable. I know. I, I, <laughs> it goes by so quick. Yeah, because we met a few years ago. I yeah. can't believe it's actually been that long. Yeah, wow. exactly. So uh, yeah, we're going into year five, um, you know, so yeah, all that's huge. And uh, the, the, then the last thing is just, you know, being professional. Being professional is just, Knowing what, knowing what you're doing, knowing the local market, um, know who you're dealing with, knowing the players in the game, um, and that, that, that carries a lot of weight, um, you know, especially in the industry. And, you know, a lot of times knowing those the other agents, too. Um, right. You really know them. You kind of you know, you know how to deal with them. And yeah. I was just like, you know, we're, we're, we're all allies in, in this industry. You know, some, some people are very, very guarded, right. um, you know, to, to each their own. But, like, for us, you know, there, there's a this industry is better together and if we're all working together. We're all trying to get each other better. That's how this industry gets better. And, you know, that's really big for us. And, and, and like I said, we've gotten a lot of agent referrals because we treat everyone with respect um, and, it, and with integrity. And, you know, you know, we see the rewards of that. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I think that is one thing that's definitely unique to our business is that, um, you know, it's very much community based. Yeah. Um, you know, for us here, we do a lot of things um, that are community centric. We do a lot of work with Boys and Girls Club. We do a lot of other charitable foundations mm -hmm. and things like that. You know, and the loans are, are a part of it. And we like to think we do a great job there. But same thing in real estate is that you're a lot of times working with the same people over and over and having that professional relationship and having a drawing a client into a potential buy sell situation. It's critical that they know you know, somebody like you that has Absolutely. their best interests in, at, uh, at heart. So how do you guys, what are some things that you talk to if say you're going after uh, or you're, you're working with a potential buyer, what are some things that they should be looking out for, you know, particularly in this market right now? Yeah. I mean, you know, this market, I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's cyclical, uh, you know, in the, in the area we live in things, inventory, <coughs> inventory tends to slow down uh, during this time, but, a lot of times is I tell them, be patient. You don't want to rush into something right. that, like I said, is one of those top top three, top four decisions. You know, let's it's worth waiting a couple extra months than rushing into something and, and being somewhere you don't like. Right. Um, you know, I did, I did a, a post the other day about location, location, and a lot of it is some people are trying to get into somewhere so fast they start to – you know, uh, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Or we, we could take this here. But I'm just, then they move in and, and they're not satisfied. And, right. I, and I tell them, you know, it's worth it's worth waiting, worth being patient. Um, and but when you're ready, but I always say stay ready. Right. So when you stay ready, your finances are straight. You're continuing to save. You know exactly what you're looking for. And when that opportunity does come, 
we could go get it. Right. Um, right. So it's kind of balancing both. I mean, a lot of, a lot of times, and, you know, I'm sure you see it too, you're almost kind of like a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, a lot That's of that part of is, the job is setting sure. expectations. Yeah. And obviously every now and then yeah. you'll get a situation, hey, we just met. We like this place. Cool. Awesome. We're also ready to do that too. Right. But a lot of times it's, hey, be patient. Let's find the perfect home for you. Right. You know, that's that's not nothing we should. I mean, we've we've had people showed houses to for, for two years. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Right. And they love their house. Right. That's the most important part of it. We're not trying to rush deals just to rush deals. We want you to be in a house that you love. Right. Yeah. It's that's that full, the most important. It's that full customer experience, yeah. too. Right. And so that customer service piece of things is, you know, overly critical. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's, you know, I kind of like that mindset, too. But it's that's that game plan that we're putting together because we get that question all the time. And yeah. people come to me all like, every day and say, well, we're looking in like nine months or so. And, you know, should we just wait? And no, let's talk about it right now. Yeah. So to your point, right, when they're ready, if they need money from us, then we're saying, okay, yeah. yeah, you're good to go today. If you're not ready yet, that's fine. But at least you know what you can work with. Exactly. Uh, you always got to be ready. Right. Whether it happens right away or it happens down the road, you got to be ready because you might think, oh, yeah, we'll look down, you know, down the road. Then the perfect house comes up. Right. And you're like, well, you got to be ready. Right. So that, that, that's one thing, you know, we, we definitely preach is, you know, stay ready and be patient and, um, you know, it's going to work out. Right, right. Um, so you mentioned, you know, about posting and things like that. So are you guys getting a lot of business through social media? I mean, you obviously guys, you know, you and Kristen both have good social media presence. Uh, I think a lot of people know you just because you grew yeah. up here and that type of thing. So where would you say you're getting the bulk of your business from? Um, bulk of our business is through uh, social media and referrals. Um, it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Social media referrals from past clients, yep. agents, um, literally people see us. You know, through social media, um, past, you know, past experiences. So and now, especially, you know, being, you know, where we're at, you know, four going on five years, you know, those right. those things uh, start to add up. But, uh, yeah, Kristen, she's, uh, like I said, she's an absolute, you know, beast when it comes to it. And, and the thing is, it's like, and we're, the, the thing about us, we're always trying to get better. Right. Constant improvement. And it's, you know, we, uh, we always kind of laugh at, like, some of the things we used to post back in the day. Um, but now because it's, it's always about getting better and that's, you know, that's true with the industry. Like right. this market is always changing, always changing. So it's, you got to learn with it. You got to be able to adapt with it. Um, and you know, because if, you know, you keep doing things the same way that you're not growing and right. you're not, you're not being, you know, the best advocate for your clients because this market changes. Like. I remember I just uh, stopped by one of our clients that uh, we sold them a house in um, 2018. Uh, they they bought a house with us, and I remember at that time they're nervous because we we had to go five over ask to get this thing, right. and they're like, you know, they they're like, oh, are we overpaying? And I was like, trust me, you know, market goes up every year. It's gonna appreciate all that. And I went and stopped by them now, and we're like, it's like I can't believe we were stressing over yeah. that five grand. I mean, our house is worth like. We got so much equity in it right now, and I was just like, "Yeah, you know, it's, right. you know, tr trust in that process." And yeah, exactly. And again, and it's being ready now, right? Yeah. And that that's just the thing. And then, um, you know, again, to your point, we have a lot of those people mm -hmm. who refinanced over these last couple of years, yeah. dropped their PMI after only being in the house for nine months or a year, yeah. you know, and that kind of thing, because they just were ready now. Um, and we do a similar type of thing from a mindset perspective here at PML is. You know, um, to your point about you can't be the same, you can't be stagnant. You've got to be doing things differently. Yeah. Um, so yeah, at some point you got to remind me because we're going to bring you in here and we're going to you're going to talk to our guys <laughs> out back about being better, being the best you can be, yeah. that type of thing. So absolutely, you're definitely coming in to do that. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, so I want to hit on a couple other things because. Yeah. Um, you well, let's talk about you know. You said twenty twenty one was a record setting year. Yep. What do you guys have in the works for twenty two, and what's so the plan of attack? there? Twenty twenty two. We do, I mean, we, we we got a bunch of things going on, but uh, you know, really for us is just you know expanding what we're you know what we're already doing. Um, we're now at a point where we're even looking to uh you know possibly you know hire more help, hire um hire admin, 
hire buyers agents um, nice. because the you know the business has has picked up that much to that point. Um, so that's definitely something we're looking to do in the future. Um, and you know because of the success that we we've had this year, we've now been tagged as you know luxury agents. Um, so just another thing you know that we could you know bring to the table when it comes to um, you know you know providing for our clients whether it's you know on the buy or or sell side. Um, so that's you know that's that's been huge. Right, right. Anybody us. on the uh, high profile side just yet? Do you ever get anybody uh, either with interest or closed? Yeah, I or? mean, we'll 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 see how it all plays <laughs> out. But no, we we definitely got a few people um, that that we're going to be helping out nice. in, uh, this next year. Then uh, one of the things that's just brand new, so we're we're still learning more about it. Um, we also got the sports and entertainment uh, tag with there the KW nice. as well. Um, so that's that that's going to be really awesome. So you know, any of those type of clients that come into the area, you know, we'll, we'll be able to take care of them. Um, and, you know, especially, you know, with, you know, the way Chris and she's just a machine, um, yep. <laughs> you know, and, you know, a lot of the contacts that I have, you know, you know, being a, you know, former, you know, football player myself, we still keep in touch with a lot of, a lot of guys um, that played, you know, some of them still playing, some of them retired, moved back into the area. Right. So just to know that, you know, they could get help by someone who's been on their, been in their shoes, you know, seeing that side of the process. Um, now, you know, be able to get help from, you know, you know, a seasoned agent. Um, right, the local experts, yeah, right? Lo- I mean, you know, that's, that's local it. Local real estate expert. So, um, you know, and like I said, we always put ourselves in our client's shoes. And, you know, we, we know what it's like. Um, a lot of times, you know, these, these type of clients, I mean, they can't, they didn't even see the property before they own it. Yeah, <laughs> right, you right. Know, Facebook so, Live and then here you go. Exactly. In. So, you know, and when it comes to situations like that, we, you know, we want to be as diligent as possible and, you know, make them aware of any, you know, potential things that could happen with the property and, you know, things like that. Or, you know, you get traded or, you know, things happen, you know, um, you're gone. You right. gotta go. Right. Um, right. You know, it's happened. Yeah, that's it's, that it's, fast, it's, it's, right? it's happened yeah. to me. You yeah. know, I've I, I ended up on a different team throughout the year. Kristen had to pack up, and yeah. I was I was I was playing the next week in a different side <laughs> of the country. It's crazy. So, it's so a that crazy happens. World. I've been there. We lived it. Uh, now with the real estate side, you know, we're gonna be able to provide. You know for those clients because we know that life. Right. Um, yeah, you know, and talking with her in the past too, and, and we talked about this before yeah. as well, but like you guys really had a unique perspective on real estate because she was almost like a coordinator for all the other player wives and that type of thing in other cities where, you know, they came in and were like, where do we even live? Oh, know? yeah. I mean, Kristen, she's, I, I like the, I, like, she probably doesn't like when I call it, but she's, her, the word I have for her, she's efficient. Yeah. Like that's just what she is. <laughs> she's extremely efficient. I mean, she's I mean, she's a natural leader. She 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 really is really good at bringing people together. Yeah. Um like she you know, she's the vice president in the Moms Club. Um she does that. She's very involved in the community. She's like I said, she's got her following. Um right. and the really people come to her for like advice. She's like she's a therapist. like she'll get a call and someone will just be like, "You know, I just wanted to talk." Like she gets this all the time, <laughs> but um Cause like no, she truly gets it. She, you know, she's always looking out for you know people's best interests, and um, and you know she she can help. She she's really good at finding resources, right? Um, being able to point someone in the right direction, um, so that's it's huge. I think that's a key point too, as far as being a resource. You know, yeah. like that's ultimately you guys will be a great resource for clients going forward. Because yeah. again, where you grew up in Nashua, and she grew up around here as well. Yeah. Um, being local experts is such a key thing. Absolutely. Um, you know, and that that's a critical part of things. If you can be the resource in this business, that's where, you know, your staying power comes from because mm-hmm. people will ultimately reach out to you for all kinds of different things. Absolutely. Um, you know, and that repeat client, I mean, that's the, the biggest compliment we can get outside their personal referrals, right, yeah. is when they come back to us. Yeah. Um, that means we did right by them, right? Yeah, so. for sure. Um, yeah, no, being a re- I mean, that's, that's the name of this industry is being a resource. You're not going to know everything, no. but you could know the right person who's going right. to answer that question for you and reach out to them and make it easy. And like, you know, you could tell like, hey, you know, you should reach out to this person. And, you know, knowing that your client is busy, they got work, they got kids, I'll right. call them. I'm like, oh, so-and-so, cool. Yep. And then I'll let, let my client know, like, hey, someone's yeah. going to call you at 5 o'clock and, and talk you through whatever you need help with. Yep. So it just makes it easy for them. Right. Um, and, you know, things like that, you know, 
being resourceful, connecting with people. That's that's a big, big part of this industry that, you know, most people don't, you know, realize how, how important it is. Right. Um, you know, with just buying and selling the house, it's funny because we say that, but there's so much more to it. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. You don't just like go with, through the motions. There's fi- a whole lot of stuff. That yeah, goes like with that. families, it's moving, then yeah. finding, the, you know, the daycare centers, finding the right babysitters. Right. right. Um, you know, like finding where to go work out, train people. Where, where do you even get a haircut? Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, you right. know, you want to know all this stuff. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you move into an area. So it's just like knowing that information. Um, honestly, a lot, a lot of times completely changes people's experiences. You know, when they move into an area, um, you know, you take someone who had to move here from work. They don't know anyone. Right. Um, but you could, you know, give them a few good options of, you know, some people that you've had personal experience with or, or you know, people that had great experiences with. Right. Completely changes their outlook on how they feel about where they just moved to, their home, their neighborhood. Uh, it's huge. It's yeah, that's, a, that's yeah. a really good point, too, because there is so much, you know, that especially if you have a young family, right? Mm-hmm. There are so many things to take into account. People think, oh, it's the school system and that kind of thing, which is critical. But, yeah. you know, think about things like, yeah, where to get your hair cut? You know, yeah. where does the wife go to get her hair done? And yeah. and that whole thing. That's a big deal. I mean, I know my wife <laughs> would be like, uh, yeah, this is like top priority. Yeah, so, ex- exactly. Sorry, hun, but, you know, you know it's real. <laughs> yep, 100%. So. Um, so how about the, um, you know, do you guys, I know you're big on the social media stuff yep. and all that. Do you have an interactive website or anything that's built up yet? Or is yeah, that we, something uh, you're going to work on? Yeah, or? no, we, we do have a website. It's something that, you know, that we're we're changing. But, yeah, it's raisehometeam.net. But, uh, honestly, just we, people do go to our website. But, like like I said, I mean, we're, we're millennials. They're, we're somewhere. millennials. They, they're going to yeah, find us right, on right, Facebook. Right. They're going to find us on Instagram. You know, they'll, they'll reach out. But, uh, yeah, no, but people definitely do hit the no, I was, and, well. and what sort of was I was thinking about there was that you know it's funny I drive home sometimes depending on where I am in Nashville and then I see Kendall up on the St. Joe's billboard you <laughs> know and I'm like all right so you obviously are involved in the community yeah. with a bunch of different organizations so you want to touch on that a little bit and yeah talk about for sure um, yeah a couple things <clears throat> so I've been to speak on that for the uh, for St. Joe's I've been doing you know events in Nashua you know since since my rookie year in the NFL so I mean we're going on almost ten years now. Yep. Um, you know, it's just part of who I am. You know, it's, you know, there's no point of being blessed if you can't bless others. So that's innate to who I am, who who we are, you know, as a family. So giving back is, you know, just what we do. Um, so throughout the years, I've just built awesome contacts with people. People just, you know, wanted to help or like I'll even help out other people's events um, just because, you know, Giving back is, is everything. So St. Joe's, you know, pretty much recognized, you know, the, like my position, you know, especially in the Nashville community and how much I want to give back. And, you know, wanted to see if I, you know, I it could, you know, be their ambassador and help, you know, them do things in the community, but also promote some of the, you know, good things that they have going on. So. Right. No, it's been an awesome relationship. Uh, they threw me up on that billboard. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I thought we were joking. Um, and next thing you know, boom, right there on Amherst Street. So, it sure is. So, I drove by and I was like, oh, yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> yeah, so, so that was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, no, just being there. I mean, in that opportunity, I was able to do so many really, really cool things uh, yeah. with those guys. I mean, you're talking about a big hospital organization like that. They got yeah. a lot of things going on. So, um I mean, it's fun, it's fun to me. I enjoy yeah. going in, speaking to people about, you know, certain things, talk about my experiences, motivate them, make them feel loved. Because a lot of times, you know, as crazy as it is, you know, I'm literally telling them the same thing that their teacher or you know, whoever will say. But sometimes when they just hear it through through somebody else, it, yeah, you know, different it channel. carries a little yeah. weight. And, you know, I, I, I love, you know, going back and talking to the schools. And so definitely it's something I want to get back into. It's been a little affected by COVID. Right, right. Um, But, you know, it's that's huge. That's everything. Yeah, no, yeah. that's great. And what what do you do? Do you do anything specifically with Boys and Girls Club, or is that just an organization? Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll jump in, you know, join any of their initiatives. They have a golf tournament. They have some auctions uh, that they do. We do um, – so specifically – what I do with them, we have like Ray's Family Field Day that we've been doing for since 2013. And uh, essentially what that day is, it's a it's a day for the kids. 
uh, we, we, we go to the Boys Girls Club, we set up, we do a bunch of events, um, give out free food, ice cream, water balloon fights, literally just a day for them to have fun. Oh, that's awesome. Like, it's just focused on them having fun. Then at the end, we just give a bunch of stuff away. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you know, um, it's just an opportunity for, you know, especially a lot of those kids, they don't have maybe as many opportunities or have certain living situations. Um, I just want to, you know, be there for them, let them know, hey, we care, we love you, you know, we love, you know, joining forces with the Boys and Girls Club. And, you know, I like to see it as Christmas in July. Right, yeah, that's um, awesome. Because, I mean, so I think our second year we started giving away bikes. And, you know, like, you know, there was, like, tears and, like, all these kids, they were so excited to get bikes. Some of them never rid one or one family has one that they share. Right. And we are able to get this whole family bikes and helmets and, you know, they absolutely lit up. And I was just like, we got to do it every year. Oh, like, yeah. that's a yeah, that's that... a every year staple bikes try to get – you know, give away as many as we can. So uh, maybe I can start early. This, well, so I got and ran into a crunch. Uh, oh yeah, right, because there were no bikes. There was a bike shortage. <laughs> it was. I was going everywhere yeah. for a, for a bike. Right. Uh, we were able to find them, but I was like, I'm, I'm going to get on it early this yeah. year. Probably start looking. You know, yeah, January. In January, I think might be right? A good bet, I'm going to have no. a bunch of bikes sitting in my garage. Um, but yeah. Now, I mean, it's great that you give back to because again, you know, with. with what we do in real estate, yeah. um, it's hyper local, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it it's neighborhood specific yeah. you know, a lot of times. Yeah. Um, you know, to your point about people who are relocating here and things like that, like, you know, they need to know everything about what's going on yeah. in their neighborhood. You yeah. know, so um, and we try to do the same kind of things. You know, we're we're heavily involved in Boys and Girls Club. I do some stuff personally with um, you know financial literacy for kids yeah. and teenagers. Um, you know, anything we can do to give back because it's not really just about Selling real estate and that yeah. kind of thing. It's about being involved. Yeah, exactly. You know, at, at any level you can be at to give back. So. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you know, just the effect that you have in the community. I mean, that's how the community is built. Right. It's built by, you know, people giving back, people investing, you know, into the community. And if we all can invest just a little bit, like if everyone could do it, you could completely change right. where you live, the environment that, that you live in. So And, that, and I think... People think there's like a big barrier to that to yeah. like get involved, and it really isn't that difficult. It's yeah. a phone call a lot of the time. Exactly. So, you know. I mean, you could take one hour, maybe two hours a month, right, to do something. When you think about it, you're like, yeah, I mean, right. that, that's simple, <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. just like, you know, you yeah. sometimes that's all it really takes, right? You know, you you find thirty people that that could do that, then it's, you know. You, you change lives. No doubt about it. And I, yeah. I think that's that's a lot of what I love working about with you guys. You guys are big picture people. You, mm-hmm. you know, you see that. You see the growth. Um, you see potential and opportunity in everything, right? Yeah. So, you know, fundamentally from a business standpoint, you obviously want to think big because you can't get big unless you think that way, right? Absolutely. And you got to have goals to shoot for. So. Yeah. Let's talk about twenty two. What are you guys? Uh, what are you guys thinking there? I'm sure, you've got big plans. But, yeah, uh, I mean, really, for us, it's like because of the year that we had. It's like, you know, can you double it? I'm just like, yeah. Yep. I really think you we can. sure can. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we can. And it's uh, mindset. And obviously, working with with guys like you and Mike. I mean, you guys are just so like, let's go for it. Yep. If you don't aim for it, it ain't gonna happen. Right. So. We're, we're aiming for it, nice. and we're going to continue to, you know, be a resource and, uh, you know, for our clients. And, um, and we, I mean, we just love it. Well, and that clearly, yeah. you know, that, that comes through very yeah, clearly, yeah. you know, with just how, the way you guys approach everything, the way your clients yeah. um, are impacted by yeah. the things that you do and the homes that you get them into. Yeah. Um, so what, uh, do you have any particular uh strategies you're trying to employ any like marketing stuff you're trying to do or yeah so, kind of crazy stuff you have on the yeah deck? so <laughs> for you know as for like our you know social media you know we we post you know lots of good v- videos and stuff but we're like all right let's see if we could bring the production level up a little bit yeah uh-huh. you know and you know and a lot of that is you know working with you guys and you guys as team i mean you guys are incredible Shout out to you Shout guys behind the camera. Can we can we flip around <laughs> to the guys behind the camera real quick? Uh, we'll, get, I mean, we'll get some stuff. Later. I mean, they help us. They 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 help a, you know a lot. A lot they of do. They're awesome. Industry. And honestly, you guys, Huge asset you guys definitely deserve your flowers because <laughs> I mean it's it's been game changing. Like you you guys you know you know have helped change you know, our, our livelihood. So so thank you guys. So one taking what we do well and make it even better. Right. Um, two 
um, you know, we're you know we're involved in the community, but there's like I said, there's always more we can do, um, more you know to give back into the community. Um, so that, you know that that's being part of it. You know, being bigger, you know, resources. Um, you know, we're involved with the Boys and Girls Club, but now it's like, okay, you know, do we join the board of the Boys and Girls Club? Um, and you know, and kind of just like what you guys just put your face everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's you it. Know, newspaper, you know, land, sea, and air, man. You know, it's just be everywhere. Yeah, be involved. I love doing events. Um, you know, so you know, we 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 just love getting people together. Yeah, we're, you know, we're very social beings. Um, love events, love wine. So I'm like, <laughs> let's do events that have wine involved. All right, that's noted. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, you know, just just you know. That's naturally what we yeah. like to do. Obviously, last year was different. We couldn't do a lot of that stuff. Virtual is cool. We could do virtual. Yep. But there's nothing like being in person. Right. Um, obviously, we go, everything going on, we're going to be smart about it, you know, always be very cautious. But, you know, that, you know that's who we are, get, get involved. Um, and, and, of course, I was saying with the, the luxury tag and the, the sports and entertainment tag that we have now, um, you know, that will definitely, you know, help, um, you know, with you know what's going on in 2022 right. so absolutely and yeah. you know look we're here every step of the way i told chris on this the other day like yeah we're here for you to be a resource for you guys however we can help out you know we're happy to do it obviously we love having you guys around and working with you it's been a fantastic few years really yeah and, uh, it's been great getting to work with you guys over the years yeah no and it's uh <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a little plug now. I mean, <laughs> no, nah, seriously. I mean, like work, working with you guys, um, you know, and many other guys in this building too. I mean, you guys, you know, a lot of times, you know, in this industry, it's people want to know stuff right away. Yep, it's just it's just where we're at. Yeah. And yep. you know, I mean, we I've texted you, I called you, uh, some <laughs> some pretty strange hours, and uh, you guys always been there for us. You know, professional through and through. So. I uh, definitely want to give you guys your flowers too. Just no, I appreciate you know, that. Like it's it, it's it's easy to work with you guys. It's really it really is. That's all we try to do. We try yeah. to take the stress out of the transaction for the, our our buyer. Yeah. We keep you informed, you know, as we go, and we ha we know we have to be a reflection of you guys who are the referral source. Mm -hmm. And so if that call comes across at ten o'clock at night <laughs> and you need that offer in, well. That's what we got to do. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> That's it. So. Absolutely. So, no, it's, uh, man, it's, it's been really special, and I'm definitely looking forward to the future. Your guys' future, too. It's going to be good. Bedford opening it's gonna up. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. We're coming uh, mid-January, so we're looking yep. forward to that. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we're going to do, you know, probably some sort of soft opening type of thing in January, and then we'll bulk it up when we're full full service in there, probably February, March time frame, something along those lines. So there we go. So but well, well um, I have to catch you up uh, over there too. So yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. But yeah. um anything else you wanna, you know, let us know before we sign off or No, I think we're good. I'm just, you know, just really excited for the future. You know, we're 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 building we're definitely building something special. Um and, you know, it's it's only gonna get, you know, bigger and better. Yeah. I, and um it's going to be great. I, yeah. I wish you guys all the best because, you know, you're great people. You're really, really good at what you do. Uh, we highly recommend you guys all the time. Yeah, and, I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, wishing you and the family a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yes. And uh, really strong, robust uh, 2022. Yep, so. exactly. No, we're same same to you guys. Merry Christmas. Enjoy that trip. Yes, sir. Enjoy, will do. Enjoy that trip. <laughs> so, uh, no, it'll be good. All Thanks right. for having Sounds me. Sounds good. Kendall Reyes from uh, Keller Williams. And uh, yeah, keep uh, an eye out on his socials. And uh, yeah, you will most definitely see him in 2022. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.